Line styles and having the ability to control line styles are a new feature that are that's now part of review. And now this will work with any sort of line elements. So I can take a polyline, a line, a uh, circle, square, all of these standard closed, actually even just a an un an open polyline too will allow me to take any of these and now with my line styles I can go choose different types. I can apply the different line styles to these different elements. So this is really, you know, this is really pretty cool in that now uh, we've included in addition to the standard dash line patterns we've actually included some advanced settings based on um, feedback from our customers and what's great about this too is that you can go in and modify these and you can even add your own line styles so to show a little bit about how these line styles are set up you can get into the different line styles by going to the manage and this lets you uh, select the manage line style sets available in the line style editor and let's go open up that that advanced line style set and you can see now as I hold my mouse over as I click these different elements you'll see how uh, there I get an appearance as to what they I get a little preview as to what they look like down below now you know you can get some pretty advanced uh, shapes. It can be text lines, it can be even graphic vector elements, you can even make things that look like train tracks and, and roads, so you can get pretty crazy with these. But just to show you the basics of how this works, let's go select the hot water uh, custom line here. We'll go modify, and once you select one of these to modify, this shows you the main line style editor. And this is where you can control how these, you can add the new lines, you can modify them, and th this kind of shows how, how it's built up. So this particular line style has, it's one line element, and it's composed of a number of different components that make up that particular line style. So here you have the dash, which represents that one long line at the, at the beginning of this sequence. There's a space which is two units wide, which which represents the space between that line and the HW. You have the text HW signifying the hot water, and then a space after that text, and then that pattern repeats again. So this is where you can control uh, the different settings. So you can set you know like the width of particular elements, the height. You know, as an example, you want to make that hot water bigger, and so you can go in and, and control the different appearances here. You can even, you know, right now I have one line, but now as I added a second line here, I'm going to control my offset, so you can add multiple lines here. So that just kind of shows you a little bit about the basics of uh, controlling these different line segments. And as we look at this, let's go look at the zigzag here. Now this one's interesting because all this is, is a vector. So there's a, a number of different types there's the dash, as we talked about, the spaces, uh, text, and vector, which really is just line art, basically. So now, basically, to create this uh, zigzag, just a vector line here, vector line down, and so forth. So you can put in you know, different graphic symbols, like the circle here, and you can see, I won't save this, but just to give you a sense, uh, these are the, the different uh, line styles that you can just create very quickly on the fly. So we have that. Here's another uh, interesting example of uh, representing insulation. So if I go here, you know, basically it's just this symbol repeated over and over again. So you can get some pretty advanced effects by doing that. And another one I'd like to show here is this road. So this is a combination of your basic line, a line representing a dash in a space, and then another line here that then uh, comprises that so that when I go select that one you know you basically get the effect of a road so we'll go choose that one and then what's nice is as you adjust these you know in real time it's updating that line style so that's kind of a walkthrough of the, the basic line style types and, and some of the things you can do now it's real easy to add whole different line style sets 
And you can do that by going into the line style uh, drop down here, choosing manage. And here I can go add, you know, company X. We'll just do line style. It creates a new this new type of uh, file here, this BLX, that can very that can be distributed to everyone in your group. And uh, once you do that, then now I can go start to add different line styles. So we'll go add, you know, uh, we'll just do a basic one here. So water. And okay, here I've got this line. Now I want to go add some components to this particular line. Let's go add a dash. We'll do kind of very similar to that one of those other ones that we had. We'll, we'll make that five units wide. We'll add a, a space, make that three units. And then let's go add some text. And that text, we'll say water. And then let's go, it's kind of buttered up right against that. So let, first of all, let, let me go uh, set that to uh, six, make that a little bigger. Actually, let's go make it even bigger. And then let's go add another space at the end so that you have a little bit of breathing room between the, the dashes and lines. Now, uh, so now, now that we've defined that, uh, we can go uh, put that in and now in my drop down, my company X line style showed up here and boom, by selecting that now, that water style it can now be line style can be applied to whatever lines I add. Now one thing I'll mention real quick too is that here in the let's go back into manage at there's a, an important setting here that you can see that as I go as I added that text I have the option to show the text upright so that it's always showing the text upright or if I uncheck that and now when I apply that you'll see that Let's go let's choose something else and then we'll go back to that. You'll see that now the water wraps in a ring around that. So you do have uh, some control over doing that. Okay, so you know I've added that basic one. Now I can at any point go in and, and add a whole other style. You know, it can be just dashes, you know, just to show that this is where I can add as many of these particular line styles as I as I want and space and you know so I can you know, do whatever you know, make that wider if I want so I can just start to build up whatever uh, custom line styles I want by just adding by adding and then choosing a name and so forth so line styles there's a lot of flexibility here and this is something that uh, our customers have been asking for for a long time and it's now part of review custom line styles